Give me that rebound. Look at that. Athletic, getting up there, grabbing that board. I thought he was tripping because he'd been on the team for two months, and he starts waving players off in the fourth quarter. I'm like, ah, buddy, what the hell are you doing? Are you about to shoot up some bullshit? What up, Hoopers? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another breakdown. Today, we're going to be taking a look at possibly the biggest upset of this opening round weekend, man. The Phoenix Suns took a mean L to the Los Angeles Clippers without Paul George from the very, very important contributions of one... Russell Westbrook. <laughs> nah, man, all jokes aside, Russell Westbrook played a huge part in that victory, but Kawhi Leonard sealed the deal for the Clippers, dropping in 38 points against the super team, the projected NBA champions, the people that we say we should all just go to sleep and roll out the red carpet because Phoenix is going to cakewalk to the finals, right? Not quite. Not if Kawhi got something to do with it. Let's jump into this film. Let's see what happened, man. Let's jump into this film, man. First play right here, Kawhi isolating working on craig giving that boy that business we take a look at this man something that i love about Kawhi leonard is that when you think you've got him contained he always has a counter he's one of those wing players that just knows how to get to a bucket bro Kawhi, people like jimmy butler jalen brown jason tatum these guys that primarily want to get to the rim and if you cut that off then they have counters in that they don't mind pulling out on you so you see here it's a basic drive to the rim right here deandre ayton is coming over for help tory craig cuts him off so now he faces up turns gets into the paint hop step and then jumps away from the defense look at this as he turns into the paint got a step he gets in there he does a hop step so he could get that two foot jump stop going up off two so he could jump away from the defense and fade away and get all the space that he needs to shoot that shot now granted good defense from tory craig but even better offense you go one way you get cut off change directions go the opposite way you're still trying to get to that room everything is focused towards the basket you're not just out there dribbling laterally for no reason getting his paint jump away from the defense hit the shot same thing same thing on this one drive to the basket he gets a screen right here Devin Booker hard hedge and then he gets back Torrey Craig goes under the screen gets back now granted with this look what he should have done was fire that pass out here to Eric Gordon all alone at the three-point line he would have been wide open for a shot but we know what's on Kawhi's mind right now he's trying to get to that basket once again he's driving Torrey Craig cuts him off this time instead of just changing directions he plants he pivots out into a spin fadeaway jumper very nice very nice option so on the first drive you get cut off you pull it back you go the opposite direction this time you get cut off you plant you spin out fadeaway jumper on the baseline you gotta add that to your game catch right here at the top of the key face up jumper very easy man this is what i mean by Kawhi. he's one of my favorite players to watch in terms of how to score and how to get buckets keeps the game very simple he's not bull he's not dribbling around he's not being fancy catch face up jab hand down man down right over the top you got to be closer than that you can't give me that much space especially if this is a shot that you work on you just look at him knock it down gets the pin down catch and shoot again bang Kawhi is one of the last mid-range catch and shoot players man Kevin Durant Kawhi Leonard Devin Booker a lot of them were playing in this game actually the, the, the best mid-range shooters in the league Kawhi Kevin Durant Devin Booker and then I'll throw in a DeMar DeRozan in there as well just being able to move around in this space get the pin down catch shoot and go up into the shot you just don't see that a lot anymore man nowadays if somebody's moving around down here they'll come all the way out here before they even look to catch the ball and then they'll fire up a three-pointer or you know whatever from there but it's refreshing to see Kawhi come right to this mid-range stop catch turn plant look at the feet heels off the ground right up into the shot Once again, catch right here in this mid post area. One dribble pull up, knock it down. 
very simple catch right here face up hesitation dribble little side hesitation one dribble into the paint plant on that inside foot boom right up into the pull up look at all the space that he has Kawhi has a, a, a pretty high set point too when he actually shoots these shots so when he's going up for these jumpers a lot of defenders can't block it because he keeps that thing so high above his head which is smart once again though very easy simple move catch face up one dribble pull up keeping it real simple man nothing crazy on the top of the key again two dribbles step back now this one i was watching this live i don't know about this one Kawhi. this looks questionable to me man it looked like you got away with the travel here he's got he does a step back right step back boom so that establishes that left foot as the pivot foot right stay with me he steps back he lands on that left foot first right so that does that that makes that the pivot foot right if i'm wrong correct me in the comments i'm trying to learn too now he's pump faking pump faking he lifts the pivot foot and puts it down again i don't think that's legal let me know in the comments what you guys think was that a legal move or what because he did it again right here he's iso and devin booker pump fake pump fake step through once again i mean i'm i'm saying it just looks a little awkward Kawhi. step back he lands on that left foot first whatever foot is the first to hit the ground that's your pivot foot right if i'm wrong correct me in the comments he does a step back boom pump fake pump fake lifts that left pivot foot to take another step i don't know man that looks extremely shaky man what do you guys think was this a travel or what this is the matchup everybody wanted to see right here that kevin durant Kawhi leonard matchup and Kawhi won that matchup without a doubt in my mind. Nah, don't get me wrong. Kevin Durant was cooking, especially in that third quarter. He didn't shoot a single shot, but he had about five assists. He was getting everybody else open because the defense were focused on him. Playing the game the right way. Kawhi, same thing. Gets the pin down right here in the paint. Comes up to it. Face up on Kevin Durant. Jab. Jumper. The jab jumper, man. This is the... the a staple of any score if you call yourself a scorer you have to have the shot in your bag man just catch jab jumper real simple real easy you have to be able to hit that shot the greatest players of the game can hit that shot kobe mj lebron can hit that shot even anthony davis we see do that shot Kawhi, kevin durant all the great players the great scorers the ones that you know can get a bucket they all have this shot in their arsenal and it's because it's a very important shot to have. If you're going to jab and the defender's going to drop back, that may be all the space that you get all game. Especially if you're a scorer and they know that and the game plan is geared to stop you from scoring. That may be the best look that you get. And the most space that you'll get all game is from a jab step. Jab, he, he moves that foot, backs up a little bit, raise up and knock it down. Low maintenance superstar scorer, man. I love Kawhi's game. Look at Westbrook getting in there. This is what I'm talking about. Russell Westbrook was going ham and cheese on the offensive boards where we needed him the most, man. Up one, two and a half left. Eric Gordon shoots a shot. Westbrook, give me that rebound. Look at that. Athletic getting up there, grabbing that board, securing the rebound. He's dribbling out. I thought he was tripping because he'd been on the team for two months and he starts waving players off in the fourth quarter. I'm like, ah, buddy, what the hell are you doing? Are you about to shoot up some bullshit? But then he looks, he sees Kawhi on point, on time, on target, line him up, knock it down. And I'm like, oh my goodness, Westbrook might be the secret weapon of this series, man. Westbrook might be the reason the Clippers win this series. Not Kawhi, not Paul George. Russell Westbrook, man. About time y'all start giving that man his props. We knew he wanted to come back to LA. He was just with the wrong team. It just wasn't a good fit, but he 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 gonna do his thing in LA. And this right here was just a dagger, man. Up three, two minutes left. Up two, two minutes left, I'm sorry. Give it up, get it right back, knock down the jumper. Kawhi came through big in the clutch last night, man. 
pretty much what we expected to see from Kawhi, but I don't think we thought he was going to go that crazy in game one. But he did what he had to do to get his team to victory. Everybody on that team did what they had to do. Terrence Mann, he did what he had to do. He was playing great defense. He was scoring when they needed him. Russell Westbrook turned back into MVP Russ despite all the hate that he was getting for the past 18 months. And the, the leader of the team, the anchor, Kawhi, calm, cool, and collected, knocking down the big shots, getting the big buckets, and pulling it out, man. So shout out to Kawhi, shout out to the Clippers for pulling out the game one. This probably was the biggest upset of the week. Nobody really expected Phoenix to lose game one at home against the Clippers team without Paul George. But it is what it is, man. Make sure you guys join us tomorrow for another breakdown. Until next time, we out.